everybody, it's Molly. I had a request to um, do a kind of a, like a flip and drag down the um, canvas. I'm just using Creative Inspiration paints. You can see I've just dirty poured them into the cup, no big deal. Um, what I've done on the bottom is I've got a hole in the bottom. You guys can't see it, but I've got a hole in the bottom and I'm gonna rip the tape off once I flip it upside down. So I think I'll have one down here by the bottom. I've coated this in house paint. Ooh, that was a good flip. This one's really pretty. I think I'll flip this one right there. So I want some to come down the sides and some off the bottom. So I'll get this started. And I'm gonna actually take these gloves off to take the tape off. There's the start of my tape. Let me find the start of my tape real quick. Okay. So once I release the air from the top in here, this can then slide very slowly across the white painted canvas. There we go. And then it'll stretch. I'll stretch it out. So that was one. And then as I tilt, it'll create a design. I sold my last one at my, at the Artie Gras Festival. So I did want to make another one because people loved it. Now when you're doing this technique, you just want to make sure that you don't scrape to the bottom of the canvas. That's kind of the hard part. I'll stretch over to that end. If I don't get there, I'll stretch over to that end as well. So that's really the hardest part about this. Ooh, these little drips over here are absolutely beautiful. And then I'm gonna torch it and then blow it out a little bit. So I could have started them all at the same end. I didn't know what design I was going for. Pouring out fast. Will I be able to get there? So I'm probably gonna try to tilt that one off because a lot of that came that way. Probably had too much paint. I probably could have done with two cups. So I'm gonna torch this a little bit. Get some cells to pop up. I have no silicone in it, it's just the reaction that happens with layering the paints this way. And then I'll torch again when it's done. I'll just see what's coming up now. Gosh, these colors are always so pretty together, you guys. Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna tilt. This is a two foot by three foot canvas, so. Quite large. Let me get my gloves back on for this one. Let me get my gloves back on. Okay. So this was actually one of the very first pours that I ever did on a large canvas. So why don't you guys let me know, have you done large canvas pours? And if so, what technique did you use as your first go around? All right. So I'm just gonna start tilting. We'll see what happens. Take this to the end. Over. I'll let 
you guys see it in just a second. Oh, I just, every time, I just love it. Every time I do this technique, I just, with the blues, I just love what happens. The cells that stretch out, I mean, it's just, I just love it. Okay, um, let me see where I wanna go next. I think I've got enough on this side. I think maybe I wanna go that way. So I'm gonna tilt back towards you guys. and down to that corner. You guys like how I said I'm going to leave it like that and then I blow, right? Yeah, I like those inside parts like that. Okay, I'm going to give it one more torch. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. So I'll take you down and I'll show you. So that is the overall effect. Y'all don't laugh at my disgusting garage. Get that lacing. Got some cells happening over there. I love these big cells in the middle. Kind of like a river of white down the side. So that's what she looks like. All right, just a little, or a large pour for you guys today. Sorry, I know the light is in the way. It's my favorite corner. Get the light out of the way. It's my favorite corner. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Let me know if you guys got any ideas for more artwork. All right. Happy painting. Bye.